okay so let's talk about pitfalls of naive cost elimination so the very first pitfall that you encounter while solving the problem using naive cost elimination division by zero okay so now where you are going to encounter the situation so let us take an example so we have this equation so this is the system equation that we have Now, if you are going to write down this in a matrix form, you are going to write down the coefficients. So, if you can see here, okay, so let us talk about this now. So, if you can see here, the first element is a zero okay so let us solve this problem by your conventional naive gauss elimination and you'll understand what i'm trying to say okay so according to naive gauss elimination what will what should be our first task our first task is to make this element a zero then our next task is going to be to make this element zero and the next task is going to be to make this element zero okay but in this particular problem if you see if you want to make this element zero so what you'll have to do is you'll have to so in conventional gauss elimination what you do is you divide the row so this is the row that you are going to use to reduce this to zero to reduce this to zero so what you do is you divide the current row by that element and you try to make it one so what is what is the element here it's zero so what you have to do is you have to divide zero by zero okay and then you have to multiply it by this element to make it zero so obviously if you see here the situation that we encounter here is it says zero divided by zero which is undefined okay and obviously you won't be able to solve this kind of problem so this is the situation where we'll encounter zero by zero okay now this is not the only situation okay there might be a problem where there might be a problem so let me erase this and let me write it down here so in the previous situation there was a zero here okay now let us say th there is one here okay so it is not necessary that in the first step the element should be zero it might happen that when you reduce this okay and uh, if you if you do some kind of transformation it might happen that one of the element let us say this element turns out to be zero okay so that is also a problem this situation is also a problem here also you will encounter zero divided by zero so don't be in a misconception that only when you see zero first that is a problem you can also get zero when you are actually dealing with the problem and in later stage you'll find out that one of the element turns out to be zero so whenever you you encounter zero a tally element okay so in that situation you you'll find uh, the situation of the problem of division by zero so this is one problem Another pitfall of naive cost elimination is round of error. Okay. I'll give you one very good example of uh, round of error. So let us say I have a problem here. So if you're going to write down this linear equation in a matrix form, okay, because whenever you want to solve this problem by naive cost elimination, by cost elimination, you have to write down it 
it in matrix form so you are going to write down the coefficients so these are the coefficients and uh, okay. so this is the problem so if you solve this problem the exact solution of this problem is going to be one 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 so the value of x1 x2 and x3 is 1 1 1 so this is the exact solution okay now let us say while uh, in the later stage while you are solving the problem you encounter decimal and you take decimal to only six significant digits so let us say if we have a have a value 3.145628.1 so I'm just going to take six significant digits so one two three four five six okay so when I say six significant digit this is what uh, I, I, I meant so when you solve this problem and you chop off the numbers to six significant digits you'll find out that the solution that you'll be getting is 0 0.965 1.0.0.9995 which is somewhere close to the exact solution okay but if you reduce this to five significant digits that is one two three four five okay you'll find out that the value of x1 x2 and x3 that you are getting is actually zero point six two five one point five and zero point nine 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 five which is way off than the exact solution that is one 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 so you need to this is how uh, you need to understand that the round of error becomes very important when you are solving the problem by Gauss elimination okay so if you can see here when you took six significant digits this is what you are getting but when you took five significant digits it changed it very much you see it this is one 0 0.65 which is a, which is way off this is one this is 1.5 which is way off so this is this is not right this is not correct okay so you have to make sure that you consider the numbers to significant digits okay like six or seven okay so these are the pitfalls these are the two very important pitfalls of naive gauss elimination 